And so, despite his better judgment, Igor decided to press on deeper into the circus. I don't know whether I should continue on to Malden, but I'm definitely going to continue enjoying the circus. <laughs> right, on to the next person. Do you all have cancerous growth noses? He does not look like he does. Before you stands a tall, hairy, bearded clown with a rusty... I thought it was saying rusty sword off arms. I was about to say, yep, part of the course. <laughs> with a rusty sword off in his arms, you notice that his huge eyes never blink. Instead, a transparent, soft membrane moistens his eyes. Well, hello there, little comrade. How can Laffy the Funny Clown help you out? You notice that the funny clown looks rather grim and his voice is more of a roar because of all the ears. But... Okay, I need to change that voice a little bit. Why are you called Laffy the Clown? Why am I calling you, little comrade? Even though you're so tall, some things in this world do not have reasons. Take that as a fact. Tell me about the circus, okay? We're wacky and funny mutant circus, bringing good times to the adults, and ever since Shots the Clown's agenda was compromised and he was disposed of, to the kids also. <laughs> That's some grim humor there. Why are you called Laffy the Clown? Why? Oh, yeah. <laughs> have you heard any good rumors lately? I heard there's a bandit living up north called Sioma Voronok who always makes life harder for his neighbors. Maybe this is perhaps part of the wasteland is also in his sights. Uh, I better go. Bye. I'm glad that guy didn't have too many conversation options because I don't think I could have kept that up for too much longer. Oh god. I did that. <laughs> This place is actually terrifying. Fidel, back me up here. What the hell is that? A fair-haired man with a serious glare inspects the swampy surroundings of the circus. As you come closer to him, he studies you for a bit, then nods as if he's reached some kind of a conclusion. Hey there, traveller. You look like an adventure seeker, so maybe you'd like to do a little job for us here in the circus. Tell me the details. Yeah, right, okay. So there's a pack of rather vile rats living near the circus. We'd be fine with it, but they already ate one of our guests. Thank goodness nobody noticed it. <laughs> but if stuff like that continues, we could say bye-bye to our money. Who needs a circus when you have a high chance of getting mauled by rats? Your circus isn't popular as it is, but I'll try it. That's harsh, actually. It doesn't look like it's doing too bad. There's at least a few voices in there. Killing rats? Seriously? That's not for me. I'm a hero, not pest control. Yeah. I killed a lot of rats in Oblivion, and pretty much every other fantasy game out there. What will I get for my troubles? I want to know about the reward. Well, throw in some cash and med your way, you know? After all, them are just rats, buddy. Not a lost expedition or something like that. <laughs> yeah, who looks for lost expeditions? Fine, fine. I'll deal with you dumb rats. Glad to hear it. You'll find these vermin north of here, right behind the old plate. I do them in myself, but I have to stand guard here. Rats are a problem, sure, but people are even worse. Is he like, are the rats his pets or something? He's trying to feed me to them. Could you introduce yourself, pal? Nikolai, or some people tend to call me the Iron Fist. Nikolai the Iron Fist. My daddy had this nickname too. You could simply call me Nikolai. Wow, <laughs> it's a bit of a personal question. Did your dad beat you with his Iron Fist or something? I'm gonna ask it anyway, because I'm interested. Oh no, no, my dad was a grand old fella. Everyone in town loved him. He got this nickname simply because he had huge knuckles. Oh. What can you tell me about the circus? Well, I don't even know what to say. This is circus became my second home. Deep inside, I still regret running away from my hometown to join it. Who would I be nowadays if I stayed there? Nobody knows. What are you doing here? Garden the clowns? Sure. What else can I do? Only garden and setting up tents. I'm not a mutant, not a magician, not even an acrobat. People don't want to see me on stage. Huh, got it. I'll see you around, Nikolai. You appear a lot better dressed than you do... Yeah, never mind. I'm hungry, hungry. <laughs> 50 rubles. <laughs> Don't cry, I'll lay you a magical egg. What the hell is going on out here? I love the way even gate guards have like decent conversations. Oh, it's flip off the cloud. <laughs> a thin looking cloud observes the swampy surroundings of the circus. When you get close to him, he quickly turns around and starts pointing his middle finger in your face. Here you go. <laughs> oh god, rage over the cloud. <laughs> Here you go, here you go, you cunts! Wanted to sneak up on Rage of the Clown? Fuck you, you fail! Get out of here before I pop your stomach with some lead! Okay, I love the way I just said I love the way that 
these clowns and you know gate guards have good conversation and this guy just flips me off. What does he have on him? A med kit. Recovery from blindness. It's like permanent. What if I buy his ammunition? He can't shoot me then, right? Personality. The personal magnetism that's coming from you seems like it's too strong, even for the harsh heart of the clown. After a few more insults, the former calms down and lowers his hands, looking very shy and apologetic. Damn, dude, I can't stay mad at you. Despite my name, I don't feel any rage towards you. What did you want to be? Wow, I've, I feel like I've connected with this guy on a personal level. He's already entirely changed everything about himself because of me. You know what, dude? You're alright, Rajo. You're alright by me. Possibly not Fidel, but, you know. Why do they call you Rajo? <laughs> What's up, really? I constantly feel enraged. That's why Rajo, the wacky yet menacing clown. Never met angry people before, huh? What's your mutation? Ah, uh, my legs look like they came from a lizard. Don't even ask me. I won't show them to you. I'm still traumatized. Oh, how I was teased during my childhood. What names they used to call me? Can't even say the word dinosaur without trembling. Even now that I'm an adult. Uh, tell me about the circus, okay? The only sanctuary for those like us. Either you join a circus or a gang, like that one over the dump. Not saying the circus is the better option, but we don't get too much trouble from the authorities and their mercenaries at the very least. Gotcha. I'll see you around, Rajo. I like Rajo the Clown. He's, he's a good guy. Caramba! I thought he was looking down. I didn't. Oops, I pressed space person. You see a wayfish long man of around 20. He has large, deep eyes and sports a huge, colourful beak that grows out of his face. As he sees you, he begins talking in an unpleasant voice, resembling that of a parrot. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> car, car, ack! The scream of cranes are flying towards the south. I hear it, yet I bow to the ground. No wings I have, and neither can I fly. My name is Ivan the Crane, oh dear friend of mine. Wait, that all rhymes, doesn't it? Oh yeah, hey, sweet rhymes, I found a to answer some questions. Yeah, I thought that was like, he was looking down, and he had like a cone or like some breath thing. I did not imagine. That's really cool, actually. The attention to detail in this game is really nice. Hey, sweet rhymes, my man. Care to answer any questions? We grain to smart beasts and prepare not to understand most of what I shall say. Tell me your story then, Ivan the Crane. The young man crosses his arms on his chest and points his beak towards the sky as he starts a sentimental story. At one point you start hearing a tiny violin play at the background of sad tale. Does he have like another mutated hand that just like grows out of his back? He's just playing a sad violin when he's recounting it. I was an ordinary good looking boy until the age of 15, but then my mouth started fusing together with my nose, and I hardened into a long beak. Still, my family did not panic. They fed me from tall glasses and vases, led me to the swamps where I feasted upon frogs. The bliss hath ended when my dear papa died during a hunt. After grieving for half a year, my dearest mother married Zeka mutant slapper Matavenko. I can imagine how that had a bit of a bad thing. A true Leninist and a hater of all mutants. He quickly made my life impossible, thus I found myself joining this troop of misfits. Rack! That's life for you. Another question? What are you doing in the circus? Having the crane shakes his beak all the while looking depressed. Oh, that's not what I really want. I would like to create art on the real theatre stage. Not here. Here I mostly sit in an improvised nest taking care of plastic eggs or stand on one leg as the crowd cheers and cheers for me. Although a few times, me and Gutsy the Clown, we made real theatrical shows. One of these, the Emerald Mammoth, even got standing ovation from the crowd. In that show, I was playing a burned out Soviet military officer whose service awards were taken by his friend. I stood on one leg and made bird noises, begging my stage partner to give them back, but he just insulted me in return. So it's a real antique drama. You have a creative soul, Ivan the Crane. Bye now. Wait. Both of them are by? Oh, yeah. Uh, you like it around here? Honestly, I know that there is no better place for me with my condition, but still some days I dream of different vistas. You should love what you got fooled, Sean. Nice question. That's a bit harsh. Are there any good rumors? I heard that more and more people go to the video salon instead of the circus. Plebeians, live art is much better than an old videotape. It's stronger, more beautiful. It's alive. Maybe you're right. Nice question. Actually, let's change subject. Why are you calling yourself the crane? Is it because of the beak? The young man starts counting the reasons using his thin long fingers. First of all, it's the beak. Second, it's my love for standing on one leg. I also like saying caca a lot. Also, my favorite food consists of small animals I ate raw, like frogs, for example. <laughs> and you know, I feel myself like I'm a crane. Ever since I was a child, I always wished I could fly south, lay eggs, make nests in tall oak trees, as if this body hides a magnificent white bird ready to take off at any seconds. It's not just about the beak. Yeah, well, good luck to you on your path. Bye. 
Don't know whether I could help this guy with his quest. That seems a little bit rough. The first normal person I've met around here? Question mark? Big eyes. Very big eyes. A young, thin girl graciously walks on the line, drawn in the sand. Oh yeah. <laughs> One leg after another, keeping balance with barely visible moves of her hips. When she notices you, the blue-eyed performer turns around and asks in a cute, shy voice, Did you want anything? I'm just training for my tightrope routine. Name's Ag Agafia Akanova. I'm an acrobat. The girl sits... The uh, girl quiets down and a terrible screechy voice starts going for a lower abdomen. Hey! Agatha! You damn cow! Who are you talking to? Some hot stallion, I bet! Don't you dare drive me away with your stupid chai attitude, bitch! Hey, lover boy, come on closer! Okay. I don't know why he expected normalcy. Agatha screams and shrinks away from you. She looks as if she was insulted and violated, but that does not stop the voice coming straight out of her lower abdomen. Hey, bully boy, if you're out there, I can't see shit from where I'm at. Just take off Agatha's clothes let's start making babies. Jesus Christ. Over there, Agatha elbows herself in the stomach and the voice stops. After a few breaths, the girl continues with her ever shy voice. I'm so sorry, that wasn't me talking. So how may I help you? Fang of a carnivore. All these people have really sad stories. I mean, it makes sense, the normal. This place is super grim. <laughs> very, very grim. This is probably the darkest place that's in this game. I, if the game gets any darker, I don't know. Do I want to ask? While the other one seemed like they, they're okay with it to some extent. Yeah. I want to ask you some questions. Yes, please. Ask away. How's life in the circus? Pretty good, actually. We're giving lots of laughs to people and we earn enough to feed ourselves. I can't dream of anything more beautiful than the eyes of children that hold their breaths whilst looking at my tricks above the arena. Agatha quiets down, but in just a moment you start hearing a voice again. Now it's coming from the girl's torso. Most of the kids that look at you are older than 18 and they stare at your butt. Interesting experience. Must be. Next question. Aren't you scared of walking the tightrope? Just takes a lot of training. That's it. A normal man would never survive up there. But for me, walking the rope is like walking the street. People really do conquer all obstacles. What can you tell me about your colleagues? Either a weird bunch. We're not bound by blood. We're bound by something. Maybe it's the mutations. That way we can talk freely without fear of seeming a stranger insulting one another. We also have our own inside jokes and stuff like that. It's good to be amongst you, Kim. But that's it. Everything's great. Next question. Will you share any rumours with me? I once thought that Praskovia Pi, the animal trainer, was the only person capable of dominating the mutant insect. Then I heard about a man from Krasnos pneumonia who has a pet mermic. And get this, he doesn't even have to shout at the poor thing like Prasnovka does. Like Praskovia does. They're like two brothers, a human and an ant. Would you believe that? Hmm, I haven't got into Krasnos pneumonia yet, so it is possible. You must have the weirdest family reunions. Yeah, the uh, ant, I take it, has lots of siblings. Um... <sighs> yeah. What did I hear just now? Where's the second voice going from? Personality. Well, I don't like to talk about things like that. But what can a girl do? I dislike mutation. One of the organs in my body has its own mind and the ability to talk. Like the goddamn chatterbox, pardon the impression. Ah, making babies. I guess I know what organ that is. The girl quiets down and a terrible screechy voice starts going through a lower abdomen. And believe me! That organ she told you about ain't the spleen, if you know what I mean. Hey, bud, Agatha seems to trust you. Maybe you can hook her up with a guy or two, or even try handling herself. Come on in. Dios mio, I hope nothing in my body will start talking after this meeting, although it'd be pretty interesting to hear what stories my members might tell. <laughs> 40 year old virgin story is the first story that comes to mind. <laughs> oh. I'm assuming that wasn't Agatha. Does she have a name for her, actually? Maybe you like a ventriloquist or something? Just making sure. Oh, what do you... Uh, it does like it. No, it doesn't. Oh, it's not that easy. Sometimes I actually hope I've simply got a split personality. That, at least, can be cured. Can it? What do you do now? So, how's life with this thing? I could grow silent, but her abdomen responds. You'd rather ask me what it's like to live in the body of a shy little cow that can't even land a man for us both to enjoy. And it started off so cute and innocent. Let's change the subject, okay. Nothing important, so I best leave. Hmm. I wish I could read acrylic better than the just talking it. Yeah. I can like generally read it, but I and do some of the pronunciations, but I can't do much more than that. 
The animal handler, I presume. I see a waif-like thi waif thin short woman who sports an inappropriately large behind that barely fits inside of her pants. Without that one trait, the girl would look completely normal. Pretty even, but alas. That's harsh. <laughs> when she spots you, she speaks in a thin, shy voice. Looking for some fun, my friend? Check out my excellent brand. I lay eggs both day and night. It's so rotund, it's a delight. I may not look very strong, but I lay eggs all year long. Um, hey, can I ask you some questions? Hi, Yana the Circus Freak. Admit that I would love to talk with you. It's pretty nice I'm getting all these options with personality. It like definitely is probably the best trait if you want to get everything it seems. If you guys, well, if anyone is actually watching this video out there. Uh, but yeah, if you want to do it, I would recommend personality from what I've seen so far. There does actually seem to be a lot of interactions with the uh, attributes and what actually you can do in the game. So I can only imagine all the stuff I'm missing with strength. I reckon it would be like interesting to go back over some things that I haven't done before. But that's probably not something I'm going to do for a while because this game is rather in-depth playing a whole new playthrough. But, you know, especially since I have yet to finish this one. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. My life was never the best one. When my body barely started to adapt to the egg-laying process, my mutation has caused all the boys in my village wanted to date me. But when I grew this giant butt, they started making fun of me. Insults and beatings came into my life, then came rotten fruit, so I ran away. I wanted to kill myself, but then I joined this place. What a ride. Nice question. Are you happy here? You know, I'm even happier than back in the village before my mutation occurred. Yeah, people get me the way I am, and we earn a pretty penny too. Sounds great. I, uh, what can you tell me about the race? Don't really know what to say. On one hand, it's good that everything's returning. The trade, the cities, the armies. On the other, I really don't want communism to return. Communists would never allow our circus. They'd say it's immoral or something like that. As if we're at fault for being mutants and degenerates. We show off our deformities and earn money for it. Who's suffering from that? People with weak hearts, I'd say. Next question. Ask away, Fred. Uh, can I share any rumours? I heard that a man in Krasno's pneumonia but... Yes. Oh, well, di quite different dialogue. I heard that a man in Krasno's pneumonia is a pet mermic. Did you know mermics are mutants, just like us? We should someday build a cage for this mermic and ask the guy to join our circus. A mermic would make your show much better. Another question. I wonder whether I can invite him to join the circus then. Hmm. Seems kind of harsh though, they're going to cage up his mermaid seeing as he lives with it. Maybe if he wants to. Uh, maybe change the subject. What do you do around here? Yana the egg layer. I guess you answered the question with I've answered the question. Turns around, show off her massive buttocks. I lay giant eggs. It's my mutation, you see. Happens once every month or so. When I feel I'm about to lay one, the guys place me into a large nest inside of a cage and then drive me around the waist. Everyone enjoys seeing the supreme mockery of nature that I represent. So we gather around 500 to 600 rubles every month. And sometimes kids and old people also give me sacks of grain and bags of bread. So lovely of them. There's just one bad thing about it all. The babies inside those eggs always turn up dead. Except one time. But let's not talk about it. Let's definitely talk about it. Come on, buddy. I bet the story won't mess me up as much as your previous story did. You can trust me. Thank God. <laughs> I don't think I've saved in a while. The girl listens to your plea and thinks about it and finally nods. Fine. Maybe if I tell you, the pain will go away. See, once I laid an egg that didn't look like the rest. It had a living baby inside of it. One colleague even heard his little heartbeat through the shell. I was so happy. But during the night, someone snatched the egg from my bed, broke it, and ate the baby. I didn't know who to blame until someone told me it was Barbara, the bearded lady. And I trusted her so much. She was my best friend. Now... Now I hate her guts. Wow, that's fucked up. What a story, glad I asked. Uh, how sad. Anyway, that seems rather. I'm just gonna go about the normal route. I love to talk, but I must go. Do you actually have massive books? I guess they couldn't get that on the character model, like the beak. <laughs> or, uh, yeah, they can't really show how it's on a character model without making this a, a little bit higher rated than normal. Imagine. A pet. Uh, Scolia Giganta. Look at his eyes. I think it looks so cool. Don't like insects though. <laughs> a strict looking lady with fair hair gathered in a long ponytail yells at a wasp that's just hovering in the air. The insect seems to follow most verbal commands. No, honey, you will not fly through the ring of... Uh. No, honey, you will fly through a ring of fire. You will, even if I have to feed you macaroni all week. Where's my whip at? 
The wasping's mad as it spins its giant silly looking head around, but it does not feel the cage. You heard of talented animal trainers, but you've never seen one with a wasp. The woman spots you and turns around. What do you need? There won't be an insect show today. It's life of the circus, see? One actress can't fly through a ring of fire. The whole show of Madame Prascovia Pie gets postponed. Uh, that wouldn't harm the conversation, right? I doubt it would mess with the conversation. What do you need? Again, personality. Saving me. Is your... Is that a real last name? Prescovia Pie? Or do you just like pies? I think this is oddly personal. <laughs> What's so weird about my last name? Well, I enjoy pies, yes, but that's nothing to do with it. Just expected. Don't know what I expected to get out of that, actually. How's life in the circus? Um, well, until everyone respects me as their mistress, I'll be loyal to this den of freaks. Okay. What can you tell me about your colleagues? These mutants and freaks know one thing, and they know it well. They know their place. They know it's below me, on their knees. Haha. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, next question. Being king of a dumb heap isn't being king of much, just to say. Maybe you heard anything interesting? Have you heard that our Barbara bearded lady is a seer? One day she told me that she felt a time space anomaly somewhere in Krasno's pneumonia. It was some silver dude who she told me felt all sorts of wrong. Weird, huh? Maybe it's time to talk about the state of her mental health. Maybe she just dreamt it. I feel that that means something. There's some silver dude who should tell us all sorts of wrong. Hmm. That actually could be useful, I guess. Uh, it's pretty weird that she knows it's big scientific words. Next question. That is a good point, actually. I hadn't even thought about that. Hmm. Maybe you heard anything interesting? Oh, no, that was that. For some reason, I thought it was the other one. But, like asking about colleagues. Let's change the subject. How can you make that wasp so eager to serve you? The woman smirks and shrugs. Maybe they see me as a kindred spirit. Ah, I do see the resemblance. The woman bears her thighs to you. Uh, legs are extremely thin. They're covered by a black and yellow striped chitinous shell. Also, my body creates a weird pheromone once a month that attracts wasps from all around if I forget to wear heavy duty pants. <laughs> You know, this mutation really suits you. You're as tough and dangerous as a wasp, yet deep inside you have a honeycut. Oh, Fidel, calm down now. Um, are you trying for the role of the living mirror, old boy? Ah, and there's the sting. Oh, the beauteous she wasp. Damn it, Fidel, down! I'm serious! Uh, quite an interesting mutation you got there. Can I change the subject? Oh, sad. Well, time for me to go and speak to someone else. Damn, Fidel, damn. I wonder what I'm missing by not having any other people. I wonder whether I can recruit someone from the circus. Oh, this guy looks shocked. A young man with bright red hair silently greets you by raising his hand above his head. However, it seems that the circus freaks and mutants have hold of his attention. Hello, what's up? Are uh, you also disappointed that you only recently found out that places like the circus exist? Damn, what was I wasting my time on when I could have been hanging out in the circus? Well, comrade, you haven't missed much. The circus just got here. That's nice. I wonder what it will move when I leave. Yeah, could you answer a couple of questions for me? Why not? Go ahead. What's your name? People call me Jess. It's a nickname I have since my stalker days. And usually a nickname's pretty common among stalkers. I had colleagues with pretty colourful nicknames too, like Butch, Lorcan, Chak, uh, Kakalot, Daedroth, Dumpling. Just to name a few. <laughs> Dumpling. Is that so? I bet Dumpling was a huge, like, 600 pounds, 7 foot tall, like, massive behemoth of a man as well. Is that so? Well, nice to meet you. Next question. Where are you coming from? I came here for Nalchik with the Caravaneers, and I'm glad I did. Just look at this circus. The only thing I like more than adventures is entertainment. True story. Well, I'm sure. One more question. What do you do for a living? I'm an ex-stalker. I'm selling off the stuff I found. I have caches hidden all over the region. You in hungry? No problem. Just dig out an old car battery from the ground and bring it straight to the market to sell. I do this on purpose. I sell my goods in small quantities so that the market doesn't become oversaturated and the prices don't drop. That is an oddly wise decision for someone in the ways. Uh, can you tell me any fresh rumours? I don't often visit Krasno's pneumonia, but I've heard they turn their boat into an entertainment centre. That they have a brothel and a casino there. What do you know? None of this would have happened in the Soviet Union. I'll be right. Uh, what's the subject? What's made the biggest impression on you? Oh, many things. There you see. It's a bearded woman. She's telling the people their fortune. Look at that guy. He isn't wearing makeup. No, it's a real beak. I pulled it so hard he started to bleed. Dude! That cheerful clown is only a tiny part human. Everything else about him is just a cruel joke on Mother Nature. I haven't even been inside the tent yet. People say that real wizard is performing there. 
I think I just met the most fucked up person in the circus. Jesus. What's he selling though? Why well, you got me interested? I go take a look myself. Jeez, at least the others can relatively help. Can I talk to the wasp? Nope. Wait. Nope. <laughs> hmm. Do you want to go in there? I've a, I bet he's a strong man. I have a horrible feeling about him though. Let's go up into the airplane and see what we see. I wonder whether I'm even allowed in here, to be honest. When the rats on the other side, are the rats over here somewhere. A nest of rats? No, rats anywhere? Guess they're around. I'll find them in a bit. Not on this side, are they? Weird. <laughs> right. So what have we got in here then? Anyone further back? I thought there were some bodies for a second. Ah, uh, but I can use strength to move this. Oh no, it's just lootable. Broken ball. Lovely. Okay, so I'm not gonna get in trouble for looting this. Nice, nothing in there to loot anyway. And more chess. Nothing. And nothing. Nothing else. Why are these guys? 